Hello everybody, welcome to the FTOG server Infinity Evolved. Tied the body here and today is armor upgrade day. Now I know you like seeing the little flame particles on my boots, but I'm about tired of it because when you get moving around and flying and stuff, they get in your face and that's the reason I took particles off my jetpack. And they were pretty novel at first, but yeah, let's let's get rid of that. So I've done quite a bit of crafting. In fact, just so that there's not a surprise, let me show you what I've done. See, I've got the next orb. Uh, I think it's called the Archmage Orb. And then we'll just go ahead and keep it on us. Um, so that means that you know that I've made some demon shards or demon blood shards. And uh, I've got my blood armor together. You see all the supplies and everything like that. Okay, so just so you know that you didn't really miss anything, you know, this is just a bunch of crafting here. Uh, the only thing that I think you would have missed is uh, the killing of the demons to get the demon shard. So let's just go ahead and do that right now so that you can see it and then we'll come back and we'll build our uh, blood armor. Let's see, I think that is all of it. Okay, we are back in our testing area. That's where we did the uh, Gaia fight. Gaia fight? Gaia. Yeah. And uh, over here, this is where I've been doing the um, the demon killing. Right here. Okay. So, one thing that I like about Blood Magic is that it has features that work well with other features in the mod. Uh, like, for example, the Well of Suffering. Uh, works well with the ritual of regeneration. It fits together so that uh, you know you can just use it together. So here's another two features that work well together. So let's make sure that I have yep ritual of containment. So that's the one we want. And I've got all the blocks in my inventory. There we go. So what this does is that it pulls mobs towards the center, like right here. And uh, what it works well with is summoning the lesser demons. I think these are called lesser demons, so that they don't really, so that they don't get away from you. Because if you don't use this, they fly around pretty hysterically, hysterically. Uh, but with the ritual, it'll keep it right in the center. And I will show you uh, what it looks like. So all I've done is I've put. Uh, these lesser materials, that's what I want to call them. They don't really take too much to make. Uh, see, it uses simple catalyst and then just basic items. Well, if you do six of the same thing all the way around, you'll get one of these lesser demons. And uh, we're going to do the earth one. I think I picked earth just because the uh, debuff that it gives you is slowness. And uh, I didn't want some of the other debuffs that the other guys gave you. All right. So we will go ahead and kill it with our blood magic sword. And there you go. Because of the ritual of containment, it stays right there in the middle and doesn't fly off. So, whoop. So we can just kill it at our leisure. In case you haven't seen it in a earlier episode, that magic sound, that's the talisman of remedium. Uh, taking the debuff off every time he casts one on me and there we go so I know that it's supposed to be a chance to get a blood shard but I use the bound blade every single time and every single time so far I've gotten a demon blood shard so just extra luck I don't know maybe maybe not so we're on our way back to base and I thought I'd just stop by and show you this uh, a couple episodes bef uh, ago we set up to where we can cut down the huge trees, the redwood trees, I guess. Um, but I was only doing one at a time. Well, I need more wood than that. I need to, I need like hundreds of thousands of those crafting tables just to feed my hungry node. So I've just expanded the range a little bit. So now we do five at a time and uh, got my little setup over here. So, you know, if there's anybody on the server that also wants to get large amounts of wood for their hungry node, uh, this place is, is open. Just uh, make sure to put your chest on top. 
All right, so let's go back to our magic area. I've been preparing for a while now, for days now. Yeah, not really weeks, days. For this blood magic, I hope it works out because that um, Thomcraft uh, armor was such a disappointment. So let's go over here and build it real quick. And I, I just hope it's pretty cool. All right. So let's pull up the sigils. This is something I had to learn just, you know, as I was making this. Uh, but you can upgrade your blood magic. I mean, your blood magic, your blood armor. Uh, if you put in a demon shard, then you can add two different types of sigils or upgrades to the piece of armor. And if you put in a master blood orb... Oh, excuse me. If you put in a master blood orb, then it will use no uh, life points or, or blood out of your system uh, when it when you use these effects that you're going to add in. So I've got a master blood orb for each of my pieces of armor. I have a demon blood shard for uh, each piece of armor so that I can have two effects. And the two effects I chose for our boots, we're going to put in Air Sigil and Sigil of Haste. Sigil of Haste is supposed to just make us run faster. Uh, Air Sigil is supposed to make us not have fall damage. And with the Angel wing, Ring, yeah, Angel Ring the, um, that we're using, you're not going to have fall damage anyways. But uh, I was running out of choices. Well, not running out of choices, but running out of things that I wanted to put into the armor. So I just picked it. You know, what if our angel ring disappears or something? Okay. So then for the pants, we're going to put in water sigil, which is supposed to give you water, um, air or breathing underwater, water breathing. Uh, the lava sigil, which is supposed to give you fire resistance. So I don't know if that's like 100% or just a resistance. So we'll have to test that out. Um, and that uh, talisman that I'm wearing in my amulet slot, it gives me pretty good protection against lava and fire just because it takes away the burning effects. But, you know, whatever. Every little bit helps. Uh, the sigil of the whirlwind is supposed to deflect uh, minor projectiles. So, again, not too useful because I'm really getting this armor for the bigger things. So little skeletons and stuff, and they could shoot me all they wanted without this and it wouldn't really matter, but we're putting it in. Uh, the Void Sigil, this is the one. This uh, gets rid of Void Damage. Uh, and the Chaos Guardian, I guess, uh, gives you Void Damage. So I hope that protects us pretty well. Okay, and then we're putting in, I'm not gonna attempt it, but it's the Helmet. Uh, that's a mix between blood magic and thumbcraft to where you can see nodes. It's like the The goggles are revealing so we're gonna have that and then the divination sigil Which will just put up a HUD and show us uh, how much blood is in our system I think it would be nice to be able to see how much is in there in case I get into trouble I can escape real fast. So that's what we're gonna use. Let's see some of the other ones that I didn't use uh, sigil of fast miner so it just gives you a faster mining speed I don't want to do that because I don't want to tear up my base this one isn't used the elemental affinity uh, we have haste let's see that one doesn't do anything the green grove will do something uh, when you're around something else it'll just I mean around something else around plants and stuff it'll grow them faster just like bone meal or whatever um, I don't really see, I, I haven't seen myself needing that. So last time I did the blood armor, uh, I was in a pack with, um, what are those plants? Magical crops. So that was useful, but here I'm not really growing too much. Let's see, there's the whirlwind, phantom bridge. You can use this. Uh, excuse me again. Sorry. Um, Sigil of the Phantom Bridge. So this is supposed to be able to make a bridge that you can just walk on all over the place. Uh, we have flight, so I'm not going to use that. Okay, Sigil of Magnetism. We have our own magnet right here, the item dislocator. So, And I don't want a constant one. I want to be able to turn it on and off. And I'm pretty sure that you can turn off the abilities of the blood armor, but bound armor, blood armor. But we're going to skip that one. Uh, the blood lamp gives you night vision and... How, and what we found out with the uh, night vision on 
this uh, helmet that we were using before, you get the particles, so I'm not going to use that because I don't want particles. And as far as I know, suppression doesn't isn't used, or at least from the wiki. Uh, the Ender Severance isn't used. That one doesn't have anything on it. Uh, sigil of Sight. Yeah, I don't. When seeing all is not enough. Yep, not sure what that does. But in the wiki, it's not used. Uh, Harvest Goddess is supposed to harvest and replant plants. Now, I want to visit other people's bases, so I don't want to go around harvesting all their plants. So we're going to skip that one. Sigil of Compression. So I guess it makes blocks, you know, like iron ingots into iron blocks. So I don't even know if it's used or not. And then Sigil of the Assassin. Time to stay stealthy. I don't know what it does, but I imagine that it makes you invisible. So these could be used in your armor. It's just if they are, the wiki's not updated. And I have this uh, open up. I have this manual here for blood magic, but I don't like reading it because it's it's a bunch of story. Like if you go in here and say you want to look at battle mage and complex spells. Look, see, it's stories. It's story time. I don't want story time. I just want to know how to use it. I know that you put a lot of thought into it, uh, creating it and writing it and everything like that, but I don't know. I just want the info. Okay, so anyways, let's try to get started here. We've got the Soul Forge, and I think I've seen on other people's videos that this is a pretty way, easy way to do it. So we are going to do this to make the boots first. Uh, so we'll just grab our pieces and then we'll put, I'm just going to try right clicking. Like I said, it's been a while that, since I've done this. So we'll right click in the shard and then the blood orb. And then now I can put in two different sigils, which will be the sigil of haste and the air sigil. Okay, and then I think you just right click this and then it makes the boots. Great. We'll activate all these at the same time. Okay, so next we will do the pants. So then the pants look something like regular pants. Just like if you were doing it in a crafting table. Then we got the shard, the orb, get our two sigils there and there. Then a right click. There we go. Did I get it? Ah, oh, over here. We are having fun playing Keep Away from Toddy. Okay, now we are ready for the armor. And the armor, I imagine it's something like this. So let's do Blood Orb shard the whirlwind and then the void there we go pick it up is it up here yeah and then last we've got the helmet oh there we go okay and then the helmet just like regular helmets there, that, that there, that there, that there. Oh, still up, still up top. All right, so now let's go ahead and activate all of this. I think it's just right clicks. So we'll right click on each of them, throw one back, and then now it says Todd. Oh, it even lists out everything. All right, you got your haste and your everything that we always wanted. Now I can't wait to try it out. So let's take off all of this, put on all of this, and it's got the cool, oh no, there are the particles. Dang it. Darn it. Now we have the particles. Darn it. Oh man, I don't like that. Oh, even look like Wolverine. <laughs> oh right, cool. So. We look like a little samurai. Changes our face and everything. Uh, so, let's see here. 
So that's how fast we go. I guess that's the sigil uh, of haste. Uh, so other upgrades that we have that we want to add in, of course, the angel ring, and we can't fly, right? Okay, just checking. The angel ring, and the globe trotter sash, and the globe trotter sash uses mana, so we will be using this. And then everything else for now we'll just throw into here. So we'll throw in our armor first so we can keep track of that. And then all those ritual stuff. And I think the rest of this we want to actually keep. Oh, so it's... Oh, there we go. I have to get used to double jumping the fly now. So your uh, divination HUD, it doesn't look like it... What am I trying to do here? I want to throw this in there so that it starts charging up. Uh, it looks like you don't get a number value. You get a uh, over on the left side. I can't really point to it, but over on the left side, you get that little that red bar. Looks like it's about halfway full. So I guess that will let me know if I'm getting low on blood points or not. So I guess we'll keep that in that slot here. Oh, and. Uh, I want to use my globe charter sash. So, so this is how fast we go without it. And then once we put it on, we go this fast. So, good. I like that. And then you got your step up. Do I have step up without it? I do. Okay. So, no biggie there. I get it from something else. Probably the sigil of haste. But this still gives gets us going faster. Uh, I will probably just keep this in my inventory so that I get to keep these charges even though at plus four and plus four it's it doesn't seem like it's gonna be doing that much for us so I might even throw it in there okay wow and the flying isn't that bad remember when we tried the angel ring before and it was super slow not so bad now okay and then we're even like going real fast now all right well I like that um, yeah I like that so let's uh there we go again i have to get used to uh double jumping the fly so just to test the armor i thought that we would go do another gaia battle so let's get us some terra steel and then right click it on to there i just found out lately that you can just right click this i've been trying to like drop it on there but uh yeah you can right click it so we've got our piece of terra still. This is where I put the catalyst from last time to get all my to get all my uh, arcane stone, and I put a um, dominant spark upgrade inside the spark so that it pulls from these sparks over here, and uh, it made the pull last a little longer. Okay, so let's go get it on. There we go. Got a double jump to fly now. My vertical speed is not as good as it once was. I might use that uh that spell that we did with the blood magic. Okay, my flight isn't as fast as a jet plate, but yeah. So let's try this out. There we go. And it would help if I got out a sword. Let's go with, we'll just go with Draconic. I was going to turn on the music. It's probably not as bad as it is for me. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and hit me a couple times. I think we stand in purple and take some damage. So it is giving us a little bit of heart damage. I would really like to get a little bit more. Because it's taken off half the heart, but not too much more after that. Maybe I should just take off these bubbles. There we go. Okay. Yep, half a heart. So what does it just take off half the heart and then it goes, uh blood damage after that, or blood points after that. Oh, we went full heart. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, two. Two hearts. Let's go ahead and put these rings back on. So it's not as good as our jet plate so far, because uh, with the jet plate we weren't taking any hard damage. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this battle and be right back. Well, we are resistance to void damage. So that's good. Okay guys, we're going to try to do something out here that I have not done before. Uh, so I guess in this version in 1.7, Blood Magic has uh, where it will block 90% of the damage and not 100% like it used to before, but you can get up to 100% by making a potion called Soul Hardened. Hardened. Okay, so Soul Hardened. Uh, online I found that I guess you mix it with Runic Plate and uh, potion flasks, so that's this is just a leftover piece of cracked plate. Uh, I also saw this uh, greater lengthening catalyst, and I'm guessing that that will make it last longer. So it's been a while since I've done this, so let's just try throwing in all the these pieces. I don't know if it's supposed to be like all together or like, but uh, okay. So I made the runic plate. You know, it's just this right here couple slates or whatever and then this you just go down the rabbit hole uh, as far as oh it's done no effect okay so I wasted it all right well since we did that let's take our other piece here that uh, lengthening catalyst I found it in a dungeon so we got a couple more here maybe we'll waste those two if we're lucky but let's get another two pieces of that, some dirt and sand. And then we'll get ourselves a simple catalyst. Grab out our pieces. Let's make that uh, this thing again, the Terra. Yeah, that's what we're making. And as soon as we get that in there, maybe we can So that, that, and then we'll throw this in, and yeah, hopefully we'll waste it and, <laughs> right, alright, so we've got that, let's put this one in, and nothing is happening, so, I mean, <laughs> what's the deal, is it supposed to be the cracked plate, because if you do cracked plate, there's no there's a potion recipe here, but uh, I wish I wish they would just give me the answers. Okay, I just watched a direwolf video where he combined a weak binding agent, a runic plate, and a flask. Will this do it for us? And then, if so, can I add? There it is, soul hardened for a whole minute. Ooh. Whoop de do. All right, so I guess they just don't want you to have 100% protection. Let's do the lengthening and <laughs> see if we can waste our potion. Oh, that doesn't do anything. All right. Well, how do you use this then? Are we not able to use this? Okay. Um. Well, let me figure that part out. Okay, I once again made the runic plate. So now we're going to try doing the potion flask, the runic plate, and the catalyst here all in one. Now, when we put the potion flask in here, see it says no effect. When it's out here, we got soul harden inside here, no effect. So actually, it, like, it goes away. So I'm wondering... Okay, I don't see any particles. If I throw this in, there we go. Will it do it now? Because this before this is what like. Oh, now it says soul hardened. Oh, now we have 18 minutes. That's much better than one minute. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so now we've got that. Uh, I've recorded a couple 
little snippets of me trying to figure out this process i'll probably cut it out so if it doesn't make sense between last cut and this cut it's because i threw out stuff where i was like trying to figure this out and and it wasn't working okay now to refill this let's use it once and now we have soul hardened so we should be 100 percent protected uh, to refill it, you use these filling agents. The enhanced agent fills up six drinks. You see inside here, you get eight drinks. What? It used up two that time? Man, I guess I gotta be careful. Uh, the standard will fill up four, and the weak will fill up two. So here are the recipes. Once you have the standard, you gotta use these two things here. And then this one, if you have the weak, you can put in the Terra, so then that's how you get two more drinks but the simplest one week is just some basic ingredients so that's probably what I'm going to be using and make it easy all right so it's just basic stuff redstone glowstone and the nether wart okay there we go and um, I think what I read is that you don't you don't need a uh, life points and you don't need a blood orb to do this so let's just throw in the stuff and it doesn't look like it's doing anything so maybe you do need a, a blood orb yep you do all right let's get rid of rid of some of our ingredients here we have the potion flask maybe it's oh I know what it is Maybe it's once you have the filling agent and then you put this together, you don't. Yeah, okay. So then it'll fill it. See, it's six now, six out of eight. When it gets done, now it's eight out of eight. Great. And it looks like you can enchant it. Oh, you can't. Oh, well, maybe, maybe I need to be careful and not lose it. All right, so let's go here. If we can actually get 100% uh, invulnerability for 18 minutes, then yes, I would say that this is worth it. Uh, I can't put soul bound on it, so I really don't want to test to see if I'll lose it or not. Maybe oh, that'll be something to do in creative or off camera or something like that, but let's go check out our 100% invulnerability. So let's do spawn. Let's go back this way to the um, fortress and we'll head out to the end and let some endermen beat up on us a little bit and see if we take any damage all right oh I didn't make it there we go up here this way and in Okay, now let's go get hit a little bit. All right, come on, you big bullies. Hello? All right, we gotta take on our bobbles. And we're taking damage, so I guess that's not a thing, I guess. Get some more of them added us. Yeah, I thought you were supposed to take no damage for Soul Hardened. Yeah, Soul Hardened still on. Uh, dang. So it's not 100. percent So I just read that the Soul Armor. Or the soul armor. The bound armor with the soul hardened potion is not intended to give you 100% protection. So, another bust. Thumbcraft bust. Uh, blood magic bust. Uh, so far it looks like the best armor that I have made is the uh, jet plate. And so, I don't know. I guess back to the drawing board. At least we have some cool looking armor. So, I think I will end the episode there and talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.